course that water is crystal clear. It's a shame the council can't be able to do anything with this place because it would make a good little trout fishery. It's about four foot deep there and you can see the bottom. So anyway, as far as the ADC update goes, I've changed a lot. I've realised that I've been carrying a fuck ton of redundancy gear. And one thing I hate is carrying the same stuff. Or more of the same thing. I've taken two photos, I'll show right now. So as you can see, that's a lot of crap. I've got four bottle openers, three can openers, uh, nine blades, three flashlights, and uh, two normal lighters, which I didn't show in the photo. So it's a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of redundancy gear. So. I'll show you what I'm carrying now. So first thing, the multi-tool. That's obviously not the wave. I've gone back to the rebar. Or I got a new rebar, I should say. And this one's the uh, bladed one. So the only thing I'm sacrificing with this is uh, the scissors. But I wanted something just a little more heavy duty and a little more uh, lighter than the wave. And obviously, I wanted the all because I always use that, and it's the one thing I didn't have with the uh, wave. So that's the new uh, multi tool. So, as far as the knife goes, if I can get it out. I've gone back to the uh, Higo no Kami. So the keys have changed a tiny bit. I've still got the Phoenix C01. This is new. Oops. It's the uh, True Utility Telescopic Pen. Opens up further than that, but. Uh, I haven't got a tripod with us, I'm just using my uh, phone. I've still got the Topps Rape Whistle, the Uncle Bill's Slither Gribbers, the Gerber Shard, the Exotac Nano Striker XL, and the little glow in the duck, the glow in the dark key fob thing. And that's pretty much it for the case. I've taken the uh, Spyderco bug off. So as far as the pen goes, I've still got the uh, Maxpedition Spitcutter, or Spicata, and the uh, wallet, which is still the uh, Spec Ops wallet. So as far as the contents of the uh, wallet goes, it hasn't changed much. I've mainly just beefed up the fishing kit. I've got some... Uh, extra flies in there now and these ones are hand tied by someone in England and I've changed the other fishing kit I've got more sea fishing and freshwater fishing gear in it there I won't bother taking anything out because it's uh, blowing a gale force wind at the minute there's about 50 mile an hour winds last night and it's blowing about 25 mile an hour now so don't want the flies blowing away but I'll show them at the end of the video when I get back home if anybody's interested in fly fishing and wants to see what flies I would use. So I've just got some uh, nano paracord, a little Fresnel lens, I've still got the top snap knife, and the uh, 1000 yen that my girlfriend got us. That's pretty much that, as far as the contents of the wallet goes. 
I've still got the 08 SR2 baton. Still the best flashlight I've ever used. And I've got the, uh, still got the Casio G uh, edifice. And I did find the ring that my girlfriend got us, or ex-girlfriend, with the bottle opener on, which was a uh, pointless to me buying that other ring. She's decided that she's staying in Japan, so we've decided to break up because I don't do long distance relationships. And that's uh, it for what I carry in my person. As far as the bag goes, it's still in the uh, Max Edition Monsoon. So I'll get into that. So in this pouch, all I've got is the uh, first aid kit, which I'm not going to get into, I've already showed that. And the stuff that I've ordered for it hasn't come in yet. I'm still waiting for the quick clot and the uh, suture needles which I ordered from a foreign country so they're going to take a while I've got to wait until either the 7th or the 17th before I get those and I've also got some uh, titanium chopsticks and that's it for that pouch hope you can hear is the wind's picking up but uh, in this little side pouch I've just got the uh, spark phone thing I've got a uh, Exotac match cap, which has just some uh, oh, lifeboat matches in. So they're pretty good. Oh, spilling everything everywhere. Got some uh, number 36 bank line, or 38. Uh, the unbelievable saw. And a table flame lighter, and that's the only lighter that I'm carrying on is now. Because, like I say, he'd carry more of the same thing. So, in this mesh pocket right here, which is underneath the main flap, the only thing I keep in there is just some uh, gorilla tape. So, in the main compartment, I don't keep anything, I just got two. Kit Kats, and in this pouch is, if I can get it out, beer of the day, which is Wolf Warning, Swedish Lager, and it's a, uh, I'll find it, 6%. And that's right up there with my top five beers. It's actually really good. First time I've had it. In the outer pouch, I just carry a titanium mug. And in this pouch, just the usual battery chargers and a little battery charging pack. Got some uh, slingshot balls. lead and stainless steel for the slingshot I don't carry in the bag I usually have a little uh, little pocket predator by Bill Hayes I took that out last week and I haven't put it back in and just a Falcon Ivan DC3 sharpener <coughs> uh, top surprise probe and punch tool still wrapped up in a sock And in this pouch, I've got some mechanics gloves, and that's all that I've got in there. So in the back compartment, and I don't carry this as an ADC, it's just in there because I was planning to go to the woods. But uh, unfortunately because of the high winds, there's a chance of trees blowing over us, or on top of us. I'm still at risk from that tree blowing over because it's leaning 
towards us, just like that one is, leaning into the pond. But uh, this is the tops. Uh, Dragonfly 4.5. Which is the official bushcraft knife of Canada and I keep it in a condor bushcraft sheath because the one that came with the top knife is shit and I've got a schmarg or schmarg and a little survival shelter which is like a tent style um, survival blanket sort of thing and this green bit is like a sleeping bag but I wouldn't use it as a sleeping bag because it will fill up with condensation with it just being plastic and you wake up wet or if it's winter and it's really cold you'll either wake up with hypothermia or you'll not wake up at all so what I would do with that is I would just stuff it full of leaves and use it as a mattress just to keep us off the ground again that's just for survival purposes because I'm a little bit of a prepper And in the Janus pouch, I think it's the Janus, I carry nothing. It's just there for little bits that I might pick up along my journeys. And uh, everything else, I just stick in the main pouch, like shopping and things like that. Or if I want to do something, like try and practice bushcraft, then I'll put the odd bit in there. Like today, with the knife, I was going to go to the woods, like I say, and I was just going to go and practice making some traps. But, uh, obviously I don't want to risk that. I wouldn't have much common sense, but I have got common sense when it comes to getting fattened by trees. So, that is my ADC for this month. Thanks for watching, and good pie, and I'll finish that, and hang around here for a little longer, and then I'm going to go home.